2014K Disney's animated children series Doc McStuffins received high praise from LGBTQ rights advocates after airing an episode depicting a family with two mom dolls last weekend. The episode, titled The Emergency Plan, focused on two mom dolls voiced by Wanda Sykes and Portia de Rossi, who are both queer in real life who were separated from the children after a toy dragon caused an earthquake. The show's seven-year-old protagonist, Dottie Doc McStuffins, eventually helped reunite the family, helping them learn the value of having a backup plan in place for emergency events. Catch a snippet of the episode above, but the emergency plan DIDNT go over so well with One Million Moms, a conservative group notorious for getting worked up over everything from Ellen DeGeneres to Chobani Yogurt. In a post on its official website, One Million Moms officials blasted Disney for pushing an agenda by featuring the Twa Mom family on Doc McStuffins, which airs weekly on both the Disney Channel and Disney Junior. Controversial topics and lifestyle choices should be left up to the parents to discuss and Disney Junior should not introduce this to young children, they wrote. Just because an issue may be legal or because some are choosing a lifestyle doesn't make it morally correct, included in the post is an excerpt of a 2012 After Ellen interview with Doc McStuffins creator and executive producer Chris Nay, who is a lesbian. Nay acknowledged she would definitely instill messages about acceptance in the show, My son Theo has two moms and it's a huge part of my life as a human being and it's been an incredible part of the way that I see the world and the way I see characters and the way I want to create characters who are incredibly accepting of each other and whatever is happening in their life, she said at the time, pointing to the interview, One Million Moms cited the emergency plan as an example of how Nay had instilled subtle messages about sexual orientation into Doc McStuffins. The group then encouraged parents to sign a petition in an effort to convince the Disney Channel network to remove the episode, noting, families will not be able to allow Disney Channel in their homes if the network veers away from family-friendly entertainment. It's unlikely that Disney executives will fret too much about One Million Moms, which is a division of the American Family Association, anytime soon. Its attempt at a JCPenney boycott after the retail chain hired Ellen DeGeneres as its spokeswoman was a memorable fail, while none of its subsequent efforts have made waves. Find ways to combat bigotry by subscribing to the Queer Voices newsletter. Download Curtis M. Wong Queer Voices Senior Editor, HuffPost.